safe and then there's like TV. Yeah. That's that's a fair yep. answer. <laughs> well, what about these people that you refer to? Yes, there's a lot of rumors that Tamar Judge and Alexis Bellino are on their way back in. I wasn't necessarily sure that those were true at one point, but now I'm pretty, I'm thinking that that's probably going to happen. Um, last, last, yeah, last week when we were all talking about this, I had a pretty good inkling that that's what was going to happen. Uh, just cause it's like the trend of the franchise right now is bringing back other people. So I mean, I, I don't know, I'm not in charge, but I had the same inkling and I think that we might be correct. But you don't know for sure. Like no one said anything to you. Like we have to let you go because Tamara judge is coming on in to take your space. No, I did have some people who worked there that um, gave me some heads up, but I, nothing confirmed. But I'm, she, I mean, that's good for Tamara. She really, I, I don't know if she has anything else going on, but she really, really wanted to come back. So good for her. I mean, that's fine. She did. Do you know Tamara or Alexis in real life? Tamara was best friends with my old neighbors. So I saw her in passing a few times. Uh, but I don't really know her very well. We have a lot of mutual friends. And then Alexis, I just know through the the rumors of, you know, her ex suing Shannon and dating Nicole James and all that. But those are all rumors. They're all hearsay. I don't know them personally. Do you think, like, did you watch the show when they were each on it back in the past? I did. It was hard to watch Tamara. She's just a little, like, I don't know. I like I like articulate like people who can articulate and who I can talk to the whole like ah, isn't really my thing but um <laughs> I was gonna say you you are not a Tamra fan Dr. Jen I don't think I don't I don't like that behavior not so much with the behavior now I don't even know what I would do if I was like casted with her could you imagine like what if she was like ah, like do you want like a sedative <laughs> Can I help you? Do you do you need to be medicated? <laughs> it's it would be interesting. I mean, look, I think her and Heather are not in a great place at the moment. I think her and Shannon are kind of trying, but they're not in the greatest place. I don't think she's in a great place with Gina and Emily, really. So, I mean, it's kind of an interesting thing. Yeah. So that's going to be some good conflict and possibly conflict resolution. We'll see. We'll see if they get to the resolution part. Do you know anyone else from the past, like Vicky, like Megan King Edmonds, Kelly Dodd? Like, do you know any of these people? You yeah. mentioned that you have a lot of patients, like anyone come to see you on the regular? And do you know any of these people? Well, I can't say who my patients are unless they've given me the okay and you see them on my Instagram. Um, but it's like Bronwyn used to be my patient. She has given me the release to put it on Instagram. She's beautiful. Um, so yes, I, know, I just ran into into Vicky kind of randomly and she was super sweet and I've known Kelly Kelly I saw at a party recently and she's I've known her from the past we have a lot of mutual friends too yes yes Megan I think she used to date my old IT guy <laughs> he was like you guys should meet but um but yeah Bronwyn Tam I, I know the, the girls that you're talking about yes do you think anyone, you know, maybe instead of Tamara and Alexis, like, do you think anyone else should be making a comeback like Vicky or Kelly or Megan or anyone? I think that they want to. I'm pretty sure Kelly and Vicky want to make a comeback. Didn't she just do the girls trip too? Vicky did. She did. She was like kind of a, a big deal on the show. Um, I, mean, I, I, I could see them definitely trying to come back for sure. I don't know if they know <laughs> if they'd take a risk on that but yeah I was kind of surprised I mean I wasn't surprised that Kelly got fired but I was surprised I think it was all because it's just the political movements at that time which I was like why did you even get involved like just why um I don't feel that strong I, anyway so but she I thought she was like pretty good on camera I mean she's pretty strong personality <laughs> opinion strong personality but she went a little bit too far, you know? I was shocked too. I mean, she's even said here on the show that she thinks it was the politics that kind of led to some of that too. But why did she even get involved? You know, like it was the whole country was in like an upheaval at the time. Like really, is there any, I don't, I don't know. I, well, I am not going to speak for Kelly Dodd because guess what? My phone will ring and it will be Kelly yeah. Dodd. Not that I'm afraid of anyone, but 
then it will be a whole nother thing. So I think you have to feel very strongly about something to start speaking about it politically. I personally don't feel that strong about politics. I feel like there's not really any right answer. We're just going to choose the least wrong answer. And so why am I standing behind any of that? And it's a, ne- I mean, listen, I don't talk politics on this show either for that reason. It's a never, it's a losing battle. It's like, you could say, it doesn't matter if you're pissing off 50% of the world out there, regardless of what you say. And like, I don't have the time to argue with you all day. So we're not even right. going to speak on this, right? It's like, this is like, this is how I feel about politics. I don't want to talk about it because it ruins relationships and it's not worth ruining relationships over. I agree. And I think when people start talking politics, it's like, you might as well just ask me how much money I make a year. I mean, should I show you my finances? Like, I just think it's a weird thing to start talking. That's me. Yeah. And to tell you the truth, I don't know enough about it to speak behind it either because I'm in medicine world. So I say the same thing also. I'm like, if I was going to have a political podcast, I would have to like hire an expert because I don't know enough about certain issues to start going there with you, which I'm too in involved in this world. Well, speaking of girls trip, you know, they do take, you know, current housewives and ex housewives. I mean, you're now an officially an ex housewife. So do you think it's so hilarious that I'm an ex housewife, but I'm not ever really a housewife. Like (laughs) I've never actually in my life been a housewife in real life. So I think it's so funny. I would have loved, I would have loved if Ryan could just play ball and like he could have played, you know, play been the ha- been confident to be like yeah I'm the stay at home husband I'm the housewife and actually show with confidence the reverse roles instead of it being so sensitive to his ego then I think it could have been an amazing dynamic and that's what I was hoping for but it like crumbled quickly that's yeah. a good point because if you think about it I don't know if we've really I'm sure if I thought really hard but where have we really seen that in depth right exactly in, so in that housewives. would housewives a nice play, like, cause it's true what happens in our real life. And so it would have been a, an interesting dynamic for a modern marriage that a lot of people can relate to, but you know, we're dealing with men, men have egos. They don't like those egos bruised on television. And then, it, but I was hoping that he would just take confidence and, and pride in what he actually does, you know, with the kids and staying at home and, and show that, that would have been amazing. Yeah. I mean, when you put it like that, I never really thought it out like that, but that would have been amazing because this is many marriages in the world yeah. that exist like this. And I don't think, I can't think of anything like any housewife's example off the top of my head where we've really seen that to that effect. Exactly. Exactly. But I think that, I don't, I don't know. He's a straight man with an ego. So <laughs> the straight man, listen, the gay 